So today our topic is uh, inter VLAN routing. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. It is visible to us. Okay. So yesterday we learned about VLAN, that means uh, virtual local area network. So today we'll be learning. Uh, today we will show how inter VLAN routing works and how to configure inter VLAN routing. So uh, sorry for the interruption. So uh, we have to first we have to know what is uh, what is VLAN. So yesterday we finished uh, what is VLAN. So as you can see, uh, we will have inter VLAN routing and and we have three types of inter VLAN communication routing. So I, I'll explain this three more. So first let's let's uh, review what is VLAN. So as you can see uh, in this figure. Um, we have we have VLAN 10 and then VLAN 30. So we, how many VLANs we have? We have two VLANs, right? VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. So when we didn't have any inter VLAN routing, that means VLAN 10 was not able to communicate with VLAN 30 PC. So we, VLAN PC 1 was was unable to communicate with PC3 because they are from two different VLANs. Yesterday we did, we saw this. So today what we are going to do, we will try to establish connection between one PC which is which belongs to VLAN 10 to another PC which belongs to another VLAN which is VLAN 30. So we have in this simple diagram, we have two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. And PC1 somehow uh, will be able sir, to, ex talk to. Sir, excuse me, sir. Uh, uh, some participants uh, uh, raised their questions regarding sound issue. Uh, I don't know what is the problem uh, behind this. Uh, can you uh, check it, sir? I don't know. What is, can you hear my voice? Uh, I'm hearing, but a uh, participant uh, claimed this. Hello. Hello. Sure. What about others? Sound clear, but low, uh, uh, sir, clear. Uh, present clear. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, so this, today we will try to communicate, we will try to establish communication between uh, one PC which belongs to VLAN 10 and another PC which belongs to another VLAN. So this is known as inter VLAN routing. Inter VLAN routing, so uh, yesterday, so, so, so what will happen here? So for inter VLAN routing, you started for uh, we didn't see any router. You remember? I think many of you uh, were present yesterday where we didn't use any router, right? But today we have a router here. So this is uh, responsible for inter VLAN routing. So if we don't have any router or routing communication, routing uh, capability, right? So we will not be able to maintain inter VLAN routing. So we need routers. So so this is the this is the key uh, component which will enable inter VLAN routing. Okay. Any questions so far? I guess no. So let's move forward. So So, inter VLAN routing for uh, inter VLAN routing will, will, will enable one VLAN PCs to communicate to other VLAN PCs. So, this is, is the main uh, main thing. But what about inter VLAN routing? So, there are three things like one connection, just we, we have just shown. You see, we have a router here. We have a router here, right? So, if we copy this. Okay. 
So you can see the figure, right? So this configuration is called legacy legacy configuration, legacy interfere routing. Uh -huh. so why it is legacy? Because now we don't use this configuration. Legacy configuration means uh, how many how many uh, VLAN we have here? We have two VLANs, right? VLAN ten and VLAN thirty. So for two VLANs, we need to connect our switch twice. You see, switch one. So for inter VLAN routing, we need a router, but you see that, right? So for 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 connectivity, we need to connect switch twice. One for this line, you see this line, and another is this line. So we need to connect twice. What about the IP address? You see the IP address? One series is 172. So 172.17.10 is one network. And another network is 172.17.30.0, right? So we have two networks. This is VLAN 10. VLAN 10 is this one, and VLAN 30 is this one. So you all agree, right? But what about the connection between the switch and the router? How many connections we need? For each VLAN, for this VLAN, we need one connection. And for this VLAN, we have to another connection. So you understand what I'm saying? Sure. Any comments so far? Okay. So so if we have say 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 for example, if we have another villain, villain fifty or villain sixty. So do you think do these two will be enough or we need more? Say if we have if we have four villain, so do you think we need we need two or four? No, for for four VLAN, we will need another two, like this, okay? But we don't want this, right? So for for two VLAN, we need two connections, but for three VLAN, we need three connections. So this is legacy. That's why it says legacy. So legacy means the number of VLAN, for each number of VLAN, we need another connection. So you see, you see the router one, we will configure this in a minute. So you see router one, router one has two interfaces. One is gigabit zero by zero. So we we assign gigabit zero by zero this address. So 17216, 10.1. 10.1 will be the gateway. And then for this land, VLAN, we'll have this port, gigabit zero by one, which will be responsible for routing the packet of VLAN 30. So what will happen? Let me show you here. Let me show you here. You see this figure? So VLAN 10, one, when the first packet goes from PC1 to router, it will go through this path. It will go through this path. You see this path, this path. And from this point, it will be routed to internally to this path, and it will come come down to PC3 through this path. So, the, so, so this portion is VLAN 10. This portion is also VLAN 10, but this portion is VLAN 10 is VLAN 30, and this portion is VLAN 30. So the routing will happen in this router. It will not go like this. It will go. It will not go like this point to this point. It will not go like this. The packet has to go to the router first, and then it will. Router will enable the routing, so it will forward the packet to other port, and then it will come down to switch again, and then it will be routed to the corresponding VLAN 30. Do you agree with me? How the routing happens here?
good. Okay. So so now we understand how we have this configuration. Now we have a lot of questions here. So let us let us let us answer this question first. So you see. So let's think about the switch. Okay, switch one. So tell me what happens here. Okay. Let us talk about switch. So switch one, you see, switch one's port. How many ports switch one is involved? Switch one port zero by eleven. What what do you say? This is done, right? Can you see this? So this is access given, right? Access what 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 given can right? What about port F054? It's the same, right? Access and billion 10, right? What about port 0 by 5? Zero by five, then thirty, right? It is also access then. Can you hear me? Then thirty, right? What about zero by six? Access thirty, right? Do you agree with me? You see, I am talking about this switch, and we are checking the configuration. We are planning for configuration and you see switch one, this port, this port is billion 10, this port is billion 10, this port is billion 30, and this port is billion 30. Do you agree with me? Okay. So so the configuration is, is very simple. Let us let us do the, the configuration very fast. Okay. I'll not I'll not do the full configuration in, in slide, but I'll 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 uh, uh, just write the configuration for you. The uh, interpreter. So, so just sorry. Let me show you. So, what will you do for the switch? Okay, let us do the switch. So, switch. You see, if zero by I don't know if zero by eleven, right? We have to write like this: switch port mode access. We learned it yesterday, right? We did it yesterday. You understand? Do you remember? We did it yesterday. So similar thing, we have to do it four times. Thanks for billion ten and thanks for billion ten. So, so you remember what are the ports we have? Sorry. Billion zero eleven four will be ten, five six will be thirty. So 11, 4 will be billion. Can you see this? And for 5 and 6, it will be billion. Do you agree? Any question? So these four, two ports will be assigned to billion 10. And the other two ports, uh, six and five, five and six will be assigned to billion thirty eight. We, we did it yesterday, right? Good. Can I proceed? Okay. So, so what about the router? Router is very simple. You see, router. Router gigabit zero by zero. So we can we can we can give IP address to this router. Okay. So router, you see, router zero by zero will be ten dot one, and then zero by one will be thirty dot one. So it's very simple. You know the configuration, I think. Let me show you the configuration. Do you agree? So this is the router configuration. Any confusion or any 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 doubt? Do you have any doubt?
fine right so router is simple one this is the this is the gateway of one pc this is the gateway of billion uh, 10 and this is the gateway of billion 30. so so the packet will reach the router port either with zero by zero when it is going to another land so the packet has to come to this port zero by zero, by zero. this is what i tried to explain so the packet when it comes from this point to this one and then this one to this one so then it, it internally it comes to through this path and then goes to this path so this is how it, 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 it is routed so do you want me to show the whole configuration in a in a figure or should i proceed do you, want, do you want me to show the whole configuration? I can show you very quickly if you want. We have some time or we can we can proceed. Do you want me to show the configuration? It might help to understand better. Or I can I can just go to the next uh, configuration. Okay, so just just for your help, I can show you very quickly because the commands are ready. Let me show you in packet tester. Do you see the packet tester? Very simple. We have a we have a we have a two nine six zero switch, and then we have a router. Very simple. We know we have a router now. You see this? And how many PCs we have? We can make it very quickly. This is our VLAN ten. This is our VLAN thirty PC, and can you see? Right. So this is the, the uh, I don't remember zero by eleven, right? Zero by eleven. Another was zero by six, right? Something like this. So I'm just connecting the same way. And then zero by I don't remember what was that. So it was zero by four and zero by five. So it's connect zero by four to gigabit zero by zero, and then. 0 by 5 to 0 by 1. Okay. So we just did it, right? I'm just I, I'll just I'll just copy the configuration. Okay. Can you see it? We have already the command we have. Okay. And just I'll just copy this configuration. You remember the configuration? This 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 port. You remember this? So I'm just copying this into my packet tracer. See? But we have a problem. We didn't declare, sorry, we didn't declare VLAN. So I have to, uh, to say, sorry, VLAN 10 and then name say FMT and VLAN 30. Okay, so now we can we can go out of our configuration and say show. Remember, we we, read, we have written this command yesterday. So can you see? Can you see this? Do you think it is correct? We are in the switch. You understand this, right? Okay, so we didn't do the router. Um, we have to we have to configure the router with this one, right? So let's 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 copy this part. So this is the router IP address. So we'll copy the router uh, in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to the router. So this is the router. And then I'm pasting the command. You remember this one? I'm looking at them. You see, you see our, our, our router is ready. So, but we don't have the PC IP address. So let me give the IP address into the PC. So say it is, I think it is 172, 17 okay. So what about the subnet? It's actually 255, 255, 255, right? And then the gateway is what? Can anybody tell me what will be the gateway? This will be the gateway, right? The router IP address. Router IP address is this one, right? So, do you agree this is the this is the gateway IP address? Anyone? Anyone? 
So th this will be the this point is the router uh, zero and ten gateway, right? This point. So router interface is ten dot one. You remember ten dot one one seventy two seventeen ten dot one, right? So so I think yeah. So let me show you again. If you are confused, just just to make sure. You see this one router has two interface and this this gigabit zero by zero is the gateway address and whose IP address is this one. 172.17.10.1 and the same thing for PC3. What about PC3? PC3 is gateway address is this one, 172.17.30.1. So I'm, I'm, I'll show you here. So can you see this? So what will be the IP address? 172.17.30.10, say 30 10, but gateway should be gateway should be 172.17. Do you agree? So this is the other other PC3. Okay. So we are done almost. So now if we want to, so I'm going to the simulation mode. You see simulation. And if we send a frame from packet from here to here, you see what is happening. Can you see the simulation? You see, it's going to the gateway router and then it's coming back from the other interface. And then it's coming back. Okay, sorry. You see? So the first one is actually AIP resolution. So let me show you again. So initially, I think it was AIP resolution. So you can see the packet is going to the router interface. The first interface, I'm coming through the other interface. You see? Fine, right? So let me show you the other other configuration. Again, I'm just showing the uh, in real real mode. I'm sending packet from here to here and it's successful. Uh, you can say again, I am packet sending from one router to one PC to another and it's it's successful. That means we are from, we are going from billion 10 to billion 30. So this is billion 10. This was billion 10 PC, and this is actually billion 30 PC, and we are successful in doing inter billion routing. Do you agree? Billion 10 PC can talk to billion 30. Do you agree? Good. So this is this was actually a legacy configuration. So what we are doing, we just did legacy. Legacy means this one actually has connection between switch and router. So again, how many how many connections we have between how many how many lines we have? We have two lines, right? Two lines between router and switch. What if we have so many? Say if we have six six billion, what will happen? How many lines we will need? Two lines or six lines? If you have six billion, then we will need six lines, right? Do you think it will be possible to have six router interfaces? So that's why instead of having so many interfaces, we need to go for another connection, which is we, we already we, we, we did this. Okay, we we, are, we we already we have already. I'm just showing you. We just we have done the whole thing. Let me show you again. So, can you see this? Can you see this? We have done this, and we have done this configuration, and we have done this. Okay, we have done this. We have done the switch configuration, and then we have done the router configuration. Okay, and then we ping from this PC to this PC. So we are done. But the problem is, problem of what is the problem? So we need more physical interface. If we have six billion, we need six physical interface. If we have eight, eight villains, we need eight physical interfaces. Is it possible or not? No. The answer is it's not possible, right? You can't have so many interfaces. So that's why you need this figure. I'll, I'll give you some time to draw this figure. You take, you can take two minutes. Please draw this figure. Please draw this figure. We'll use this figure for the next configuration, which is router on a stick this is a another configuration it's not legacy configuration 
it is router on a stick. You see the router R1, it is standing on a stick, right? You see, router is kind kind of which is standing on a stick, right? So how many how many interface we have? Only one physical interface. But what we will do? One physical interface we have two sub interface. So you see sub interface. So what is sub interface? So let me show again. Which let me explain this figure, okay? You see this figure. S one is switch one. Okay, S one is switch. So somebody asked me what is S one? S one is actually the switch. So now, how many how many ports switch one is using? So this one, you see this this port. You see this port. This port will be actually access port, right? Access and VLAN ten. This port it will be access and VLAN thirty, right? So it will be access. So we can say this is access. Can you see my screen? So this will be access, right? Access and VLAN one system, right? What will be this one? Access, but right? Do you agree? Okay. So what about this one? For switch three. Can anybody tell me what about this port? This port will be trunk, right? You see, it should be trunk. Why? Why it should be trunk? Because this port will carry both VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. So this line, this line will carry both VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. So it should be trunk, right? Do you agree? This will be trunk. So you understand, right? Okay, let us do this. Okay, fine. Let us do this. You remember what we did? So you see this one? Okay. This one is what? This one is VLAN 10. This one is VLAN 30. But what about this one? It should be trunk, right? We can write other things like native and whatever, but this is this should be done, right? Remember, any questions so far? Mm, sir, just one question: Is it possible to gigabyte zero zero and uh, fast Ethernet wait, 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 zero wait, 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 five wait. connection? What? You remember this one? Zero by zero and fast zero by zero. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. So zero by zero. Yeah, I'll change the connection. I will change the connection. Now the configuration says fast is zero by five to gigabit zero by zero. So I'll connect it as suggested to zero by five and then it will be gigabit zero by zero. So I'm just doing changing the con connection. Initially it was you see 0 by 11, 0 by 6, 0 by 11, 0 by 6. So 0 by 11 and 0 by 6, these two will be access and 0 by 5 will be done. So 0 by 11, 0 by 6, and then 0 by 5. So we agree with this one. So Mr. Amza is asking why term? Can So why term? Because you see this figure, this port will carry the port, this port will carry both VLAN 10 data and also VLAN 30 data. 
So can it be? It cannot be access port, right? It should be trunk, right? That's why this zero by five is actually trunk. Does that give it? Did you understand, Mr. Amjad Hussain? Okay. So let's go forward. So what about the router configuration? Is it like the so router one port, right? Router one port, but it has to have two IP addresses. Do you remember? So how many, how many, how many IP addresses it should have? This port should have two IP addresses, right? One is 172.10.17.10.1. Another is 172.17.30.1. So do you think one interface can have two addresses? The answer is no. So we have to have sub interface. Sub interface is the new concept, you see? Sub interface. So, so one physical interface, one physical line, but it will be logically break into, we'll have logical, logically two sub interfaces. Do you understand? It will be physically one, but logically two sub interfaces. Do you agree? Do you understand? So one physical, it is gigabit zero by zero, but when we have two logical, so it will be gigabit zero by zero dot ten, and then gigabit zero by zero dot thirty. Do you agree? Did you get my point? You see this? Logically one, but sorry, physically one, but logically two. Did you get it? Any question? Uh, no, sir. Okay, fine. So, so let's go to. So now we have to configure this, right? So to configure this, we have to know how how this is done. Okay. So this is this is the router on a stick. So what is the advantage? We don't need too many interface of, of router. We can have one interface, but we'll have sub interfaces for each VLAN. So if we have six VLAN, if we have six VLAN, how many sub interfaces we need? If we have six VLAN, we need six sub interfaces, right? Okay, fine. So, so we can do six sub interfaces, but for this example, we'll just do two sub interfaces for simplicity or for for or for our simplicity. We'll use just two. Okay, so so you know you remember uh, router or switch actually used some protocol which is two point one Q, which is used for trunking. That is VLAN tagging and untagging. So similar thing has to happen in the router sub interfaces. So that's why let me show you. I just uh, I just yeah you see some interfaces and then and then yeah the switch will have trunk port and the router will have some interface. So so you remember this? So I have already done this right. So we have already we we, we didn't do it but we can, we can do it here. So let me. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm just changing the configuration of the switch. I just I just reload the switch so that the configuration is lost. So we don't want to use the configuration. This one. You see, you see, router switch is new now. So let me copy the uh, let me make the VLAN. So we have two VLANs now, and then we have let me copy the switch configuration. The switch configuration is this one, right? This is the switch configuration. Access, access, and turn. I'm just copying the switch into this. Any question? Somebody asking question? No. We need layer three switch. Yeah, we will talk about layer three switch later on. Wait. Okay. So the switch switch interface is done. Switch interface, key interface is done by this command. Like what we did this one. Okay. So we did this. Pasted, we, we copy pasted this portion. Now we will copy post, uh, copy, we, we will do the uh, sub interface configuration. Okay. 
So can you see this? Can you see this one? So you see, we have one sub interface, we have another sub interface, and this is the main interface. This is the physical interface. This is the logical sub interface. You remember, we have two sub interfaces, but we will give it, we will give 10.1 to the first one, and then the last second one will be 30.1. But we have to, we have to, we have to enable the encapsulation dot one view, which is the VLAN tagging or the VLAN tagging uh, protocol. So we need this protocol to 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 enable VLAN tagging. So this is actually uh, we have to to write this command. Word. So so we have to do this, and then to understand this 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 command, and then we will we'll use this command. Okay. Any question on this this command set? Do you have any question on this one? So we are doing the router configuration now. So first we did the switch configuration. We did the switch configuration and then we do the router configuration now. Okay. So before doing the router configuration, let me go to the 50 and then we are going to interface gigabit zero by zero or 10. And then we have to say encapsulation dot one q ten. And then we have to say the IP address one ninety two three seven one seven three seven three ten dot one right. No, sorry. Uh, I think, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm very sorry. I have to reload the router because the configuration is there. We did some configuration just before. So the router was not cleared. Uh, I think there is no question, right? Okay, so so let me let me do the configuration again. I'm just, I'll just copy paste the configuration. You see this? Any question on this one? This one and this one. Okay, I'll just copy paste this one. I'm going to the router. I'm going to config terminal, and then I'm copy pasting this. Okay. And then I have to come back to the main interface. You see, we 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 we, we, are, we are in the main interface. Main interface is the gigabit zero by zero, right? This is the main interface, and I have to write the no shutdown on the main interface. This is very important. This two line is very important. This two line means I am coming back to the main interface. I'm not in the sub interface now. I am going to the main interface. I am shutting right down, no shutdown. So after no shutdown, it will be actually enabled. You see, you see, there are some commands. You see this one. So now actually the sub interface will be up. You see, this one is up now. So so you cannot, you cannot. You cannot up the sub interfaces, so you have to up the main main interface. It will automatically uh, make the sub interface up. So okay. So now what can we see? So we are coming back to our hash mode, and we will say show IP interface read. You see this command? Show IP interface read. So let me write it down here. So we'll write verify. We'll write show IP interface. Do you see this command? So when I write this command, you know it will show me that what is the current situation. You see this? You see? You see these three lines? Any question? So what happened here? What happened here? The main interface don't have the IP address, but the sub interface 0 by 0 dot 10 and dot 30 has IP address 10 and 30, okay? So it is not the main, but the sub interfaces have the IP address of VLAN 10 gateway and VLAN 30. 
Do you agree? Fine. So far, so good. Any confusion? If we don't have any any question, then we can just check by by sending the packet. So the first packet will not actually work, but the second one will. So you see, you see, we have successful. So so if we if we go to simulation mode and then if we can check, so the packet goes to the router actually, and then it comes back through the other sub interface, and then it comes to the do you want to see again? Again. So, so this is the echo reply. Again, if we want to save the packet again, any question? Again, I'm just sending another packet. Okay. Can you see this? Can you see this? Hello. So actually, this packet is actually doing inter VLAN routing through through sub interfaces. Any question? Okay, fine. So let me show you again. We did. We actually did this, and we did the VLAN, and then we did this. Right? You remember this command? I just typed this command, right? If you have not written, you can write this command. This was in the router. So did you write? I think you have already written, right? If you have not written, just write down this uh, configuration of the router, which is required for router on a stick. This this router has to have this router has to have this configuration. Okay. Fine. Should I go forward? Is there any question? Mm -hmm. Is any protocol except dot one q one participant asks a question so this is actually vlan tagging so vlan vlan we have to you see so it is this is a very good question so so actually here so this one actually you see the switch the switch will send the packet with vlan tagging right so this this port will send packet with vlan extra tag vlan tag so the router has to remove the tag, right? The router has to know what is VLAN tag, right? Otherwise, can the router remove the tag? So the router has to know the VLAN tagging protocol. So this is this is the same protocol. Eto 2.1Q is the VLAN tagging protocol. So the router has to know that protocol. That's why we have written this command. Eto 2.1Q. Any other question? If not, I will go to the next one. No, no question, sir. 
I think you can proceed. Okay. So you see, uh, um, sir, and one question just now. How about ISL? What is that? Mm, ISL. Jinsen from Nepal, probably. Yeah, yeah. What is what is ISL? Can you explain what is ISL? Intersatellite link. Mm, sir, I'm not sure. What uh, ISL? I'm not sure. SSL, did you mean SSL? SSL is not here. It's just not here. Okay, so yeah, I think we can proceed. Uh, we have other, so we can write, we can also write uh, show IP route. So this is also helpful. If you want to write, uh, we can write show IP route. Show IP route, I think it's the routing table. You can check the routing table. You see? We have we have two. One is one seventy two seventy ten dot zero. Another is one seventy two seventy thirty dot zero. So this is actually either bit zero by zero dot thirty. This is zero by zero dot ten, right? Do you understand? Okay, so. So let's go forward. So we have already done the we we did the ping message, right? And we saw that the ping was successful. I sent the echo request and then there was echo reply from the other side. So we saw the echo request and echo reply. So what about this one? So do you do you see this figure? Hmm? So what we can do in this figure, instead of using one switch and one router, can we combine? So here, what they are doing, we, we are combining. We are combining the switch, the switch and the router. Do you understand? Sir, actually, so, uh, that uh, students want to know about VLAN inter switch link, ISL. VLAN inter switch link. So, yeah. So, if you, you want to have two switches, actually, it was possible we can have two switches. Uh, I don't want to go into that, but I just want to show you. How we can connect if we have a switch. If we have a switch, okay, so it, it should be connected through a uh, what? Say uh, So this is the this is the this is the actually configuration. And actually, we can have we can we can have a switch and we can have other router, but the router has to be there. So we can have PC here. So I don't want to go there, but. We can have other PC here. So I think it was this question maybe. So we can have PC in other room, but we need to have this kind of connection. So we can have network like this, okay? So it's not a big deal. You understand? This will be VLAN 10, VLAN 30, and then this will be access mode, access mode, and this will be. This will be trunk mode, right? So I think this 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 one, what will be this? This will be trunk line. The trunk, this will be trunk, and these two will be this will be access access. Okay. This will be access. So do did you ask this one? Did you ask this question? Rinchen, do you hear me? I think Sir already clear you. Okay. Okay, Sir. I think you can push it. Yeah. So, so this is what happens. We can have multiple switches. We can have four, five switches, but we need one router at least to do the uh, do the uh, inter-VLAN router. So now, 
what we are going to do we want to we want to we want to combine this router and switch we want to combine okay this router and switch so if we can do like this so this one what switch and router together this is called multi layer switch so if we can combine routing capability in a switch so if we can combine routing capability in a switch this is actually multi layer switch do you understand what is multi layer switch multi layer switch means the switch has the routing capability so now what we will do we will combine that is true okay so so let let me show you again and yeah? just read this uh, read this multi layer switches combine the capability of layer 2 and layer 3 functions so so we will have only one device so which is called layer 3 switch sometimes multi layer switch so instead of two devices we will have only one device okay and then and then actually what we will do we will have a switch and we will we'll, we'll, yeah the switch will be layer three device yeah so the switch will be layer three switch so i'm not sure whether we have layer three switch tell me Sure. I cannot show here right now, but actually, uh, maybe we have left three switches here, but I didn't try. So let me explain by command. Okay. So what we'll do, what we'll do, uh, we'll, you see, we'll, we'll actually do something like this. Okay. So instead of one device, this will be together, and this will be actually together. Then we'll declare two VLAN. Okay. So let me show you here. So this layer C switch. Layer C switch. So this will be same. These two you don't have any. Okay. So this is this is good. So one interface will be VLAN 10, another will be VLAN 30. We, we are done. We, 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 we know this, right? But what about the other port? The more the trunk port. Do you think we need any trunk port? Do you think we need any trunk port? The answer is no. Actually, what we do, interface we'll say interface VLAN 10, and then we we'll assign IP address. You remember we had legacy configuration. You remember we did it like this, okay? You remember something like this, right? No shutdown, something like this. Right? So, so actually, we don't have any interface. Rather, we'll, we'll think that we have two interfaces, which is then 10. Another is VLAN 30, which is a virtual interface of the switch. So actually, this is what we will do. You see, we have two ports, which is access port, which was like this. We have two ports. But since router and switch are together, we don't need any other interface, right? We will have something internally. We have something internally. We have two internal some interface, which is VLAN 10. And another is VLAN 30. And then one is one will be will have the IP address 10.1 and another will be IP address 30.1. Did you get my point? So again, coming back here, multi-layer switch has both the capability of layer two and layer three switch function. And then we will actually use sub interface, uh, sorry. Switch virtual interfaces, which is VLAN 1 and VLAN uh, something like this, VLAN 1. So we'll use VLAN 10 and VLAN 30. And then we'll configure the inter VLAN routing. So it will, it, will, it, will, it will automatically do the inter VLAN routing. Okay. So what, what, what this slide is showing actually, you know, some switches are in the core layer and some uh, switches are in the access layer and some switches are in the distribution layer so distribution layer switch and core switches has the layer 3 functionality so 
So if we have a distribution layer switch, which is very powerful, we don't need any router to do the routing. So actually distribution layer switch can do the routing and also pole layer switch that can do the routing. So we don't need any router in addition to distribution layer switch. This is what we are trying to say. So rather than having a, another another router, we can combine these two to one box. So this is what I, I just showed. Interface VLAN 10 and then so IP address will be 10.1. Okay. So you see, remember? So I just declared interface VLAN 10 and I gave the IP address. And then I declared another interface which is related to VLAN 30, and then I give another IP address, which is the gateway of the VLAN 30 LAN road. So this if we do this, actually the routing will be done internally. And then we will have the interbillion routing. Okay. So the advantage, you see, if we have switch virtual interface, that is the VLAN, VLAN interface. So we don't need any interface, right? Do you see any interface here? Is this interface? Is this any interface or is it this virtual interface? This is actually two virtual interfaces in the switch. There are three switch. So do you understand? We have two physical interface, this one and this one. But this one is not a physical interface. This is these two are actually virtual interface in the switch. It is related to VLAN 10, this is related to VLAN 30. And we are routing through this switch virtual interface, which is SVI. You see SVI. SVI means switch virtual interface. We don't need any external link. So actually, since there is no no external link, so the the latency will be very less. Because we are not sending packet to the switch to the router or router to the switch. Before we have to switch, send the packet from switch to router, and then the router was also sending back to the switch. So we have to go through two links. You remember, we had two links: one from switch one to switch router one, and then another link from router one to switch one. Now we don't have any 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 external link. So we are actually in the in this box, the same box. So. The, the packet does not have to leave the switch. It is actually one box. So it is faster. Okay. Do you agree with me? Any question on this uh, inter VLAN routing using SBI? Not yet, sir. Any question? Let me wait here. So, how much time we have? 10 minutes yes sir or more okay okay so we'll be done in 10 minutes so uh so i think i think i think uh for interview and routing there are other options we can call the switch uh port as routed port so there is a one command if we you know switch switch has some port actually so routed port routed port means we can Enable a switch port. Switch port means a switch, a port of a switch, okay. a port of a switch. Right? Normally, the switch switch actually means there are two devices. But if we say if we convert this port, convert this switch port to routed port, what does it mean? So when we say routed port, that means this is actually a port which is Kind of router port. Okay, so router router port means this port can do the routing. So to make a switch, switch port as router port, you have to say no switch port. This command will make the port. If you say interface A, say interface VLAN, the interface first return is zero by one, okay. and then I write this. What does it? Mean? This will make the switch port first return zero by one as routed port so we can do the routing and we can assign ip address to this port understand okay so so we can use routed port but we cannot we cannot make you have to remember in the switch we cannot make sub interfaces remember we just did sub interfaces but for for this type of port or for this type of routed port in a switch, we cannot we cannot make it sub interface. So no, we cannot make we cannot use sub interfaces here. So 
So it will it will has to be one port, one IP address. So so just like uh, the first configuration, what was that? First configuration was legal thing. So we can we can do the switch. We can make the switch as routed port, and then we can have two IP addresses, just like legal thing. Legal thing. So let me show you again. If you have forgotten what is legal thing, just 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 to come back to here. So legal thing means the switch can have two IP addresses with the two ports. So anyway, so I think we are almost at the end of my talk or my presentation. But before I close, sorry, sorry. So I think we are almost done. Okay. So another thing is that. Uh, the VLAN must be defined across the switches. So, so you remember sometimes what happens is that <clears throat> we forget to declare the VLAN in all the switches. So, if we have two switches, you have to declare the VLAN in both the switches. Sometimes what happens? See, I declare in this switch, and but I forgot to declare the VLAN in this switch. So, this will actually make make the thing. So we cannot we can if we forget to declare here the villain command, then actually nobody will know how many villains are here. So we have to we have to remember we have to declare the villains in the switch. Okay. And also the villains must be enabled in the transport. Sometimes we will forget to allow villains in, in the transport. So we have to remember what are the what are the villains we have to allow. And also the native thing. Okay. So I think I think we are done almost. So this is the summary. So we have learned legacy configuration, and then we we have learned how to configure router on a stick, and we have learned how to configure on multi-layer switching, and we have introduced switch virtual interface and router port, and we have we have shown uh, like what are the errors actually happens here. So so sometimes we forget a few things which is which are basic. And then if we forget those basic things in 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 VLAN inter -VLAN configuration, then inter -VLAN configuration may not work. Okay. So far so good. Any any question or any any anything on the whole slide? I will take few questions. Okay, uh, dear no. participants, you can now ask uh, uh, if you have any question. I can unmute you. Uh, if you have a question, you, you can ask Sir to directly. Please raise your hand and then ask me a question. Is there any question in the question answer? No question, right? No question, sir. Or you can note, uh, write down the question answer box or chat box. If you have any question, yes. Uh, yes or in the, in the, in the comments the or chat box. Yes. About yesterday's R class and today class. Do you have any question? We can wait for five minutes. Yes. Right. Yes, sir. Students are there or students just left? Was it was uh, it understandable? Did you get my idea? Did you did you get the idea of interview and routing? Sir, uh, one student asked a question about uh, sending ping from PC to PC3. Possible now uh, in this topology? Yeah, actually, actually, very good question. Mm, very good question. Mm. Let me draw the figure, okay? Very good question. So I'm showing you in the figure. this figure so if we say figure pc2 so the packet will go here and then the packet will go here and then the packet will go here so do you think packet pc pc2 to packet pc3 will go directly this way no the answer is no it will not go directly 
it will go this way and then it will come back from the router like this you see and it will come back like this and then it will go to the switch this way and then it will go this way you understand my answer uh, is it clear Did you get my answer? Yes, sir. He has already. Okay, sir. Another question. Amza Dosain, Maulana Bhasani, Science and Technology University. How to access any PC to Swiss users of IT? I don't know what, what does it mean. Can you yes, clarify? Sir. Can you Amza, clarify? Can you, can you Amza? I think the question uh, is confusing. Uh, another uh, please show configuration actually i'm just saying uh, who is uh, router configuration or switch configuration you want to say you can unmute him i'm just okay you can unmute him. okay okay i'm just you can talk, uh, ask question now directly i'm just can you hear me it's all good Yes. 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 Go on. Go on. Yes. Sir, I am PC. Take access switch. I am access card. Jo IP the configure korbo je. It is jante jachi lam sir. PC to switch. Je kono PC take local line. Wait, wait, wait. So, I am on the line. Correct, sir. So, which are those? Apna which you remember? We have we can use internet or SSH, right? Are you asking question about internet or SSH? Something like this. Just one minute. Okay, sir. So you have to do, uh, you, you remember line VQI or zero four? Are you asking about this? Yes. Okay, so if it is uh, if it is something like this, okay. So it's a thing. It may be a line VQI or it may be SSH, okay. So what you can do, you can you can you can say telnet or SSH from say your PC, your 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 switch has IP address, right? Say this one. So this will actually connect. Okay. Yes. But it will connect through the through the uh, the, the previous. You remember the previous question? You see this one. So if we want to connect directly, it will not connect directly. It will go to the switch router, and then it will inter VLAN routing will happen, and then it will connect to the switch. You understand now? Yes, sir. Since the switch, since the switch and the PC is in different LAN, so it will it will go to the router first, and then it will come back to the switch. You, okay. you, see, you see this figure just like this. Everything inter VLAN routing has to go through the router. You remember? So the packet must come here. Good, good question. Any other? Any last question? I can take another question, maybe. It's a, another question from Shirazul Islam. Can I delete default VLAN? No, no, no. Default VLAN cannot be deleted. It will be there. You cannot delete the VLAN one. So, any other question? Linchen, Linchen is if sir could yes. shed some yes. light on that. There's something, I think, Linchen, Linchen from, uh, I think, Bhutan, right? Bhutan. Yes, yeah. from Bhutan. If, I sir, think if, already. If sir. Last question, mm -hmm. okay. 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 I'm getting the last question. Sir, could shed some light on the steps wise of different types of issues. Yeah. I think we can do it right now. We can maybe some other uh, classes we can do uh, those things. So I think, yeah. I'm not sure somebody is asking for the text file. Do you want me to send the text file? Yes, sir. They asked for the text file. Actually, I can delete. 
configuration file yes yeah yeah just i, I can just read some of these because i think yeah we did it separate several times right so this was actually i didn't show so i'm just deleting this file okay this is actually legacy right this was legacy you remember this was legacy router and then this was router on street you remember okay, this was router on street this is the router okay and then this is actually switch and okay, switch switch legacy was this one right this is this is what this is router on street okay so i actually uh, the switch configuration is missing here it is actually it is this is for layer c switch okay so I'm just sending the the thing. Some of the things we actually deleted. So, but I I can send this uh, file here. Now, what should I send? In chat box. So chat box can send. Okay, I'm I'm just copying from the yeah. So I'm done. Okay, so thank you. Uh, I I hope yeah. you understood my lecture. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, sir, for your nice presentation. Uh. I think if you have any question or any others, uh, I, we have also more five courses. So hope you will enjoy the next uh, other courses. Thank you, sir, for your nice presentation again.